I am curious from your perspective, Tim, like what did Brandon do well that had you receive her needs, her desire for um, reinventing how you do things in your relationship so openly? Because honestly, I think that that is like the golden question for my clients. Like they want to know, like, how can I talk to my husband in a way that he hears my love and my desire for partnership and not that he's doing anything wrong? Right. Well put. Um, I think a lot of it was um, doing things not all at once. It wasn't, you know, she didn't throw up on me, like, you know, we need to do this, we need to do that. I think it was gradual. And that was the best way to approach myself uh, was let's try this um, and we'll we'll be getting into something that we wanted to share with you uh, with uh, something we call our weekly check-in and it started off small it started off with one or two items that we can digest we can work on we can see if it was working for the two of us that's how it worked for me it's how I was able to yeah there was some eye rolling is this really going to work? Is this kind of, you know, is this one of those just things? But I also had to realize maybe this is the reasons why my previous relationships hadn't worked because of that communication and because of getting into some things that deserve further conversation. And when are we going to have those conversations? Because if you look at your daily life, if I look at what I'm doing and if I don't schedule that time in, when is it going to happen? And I think a lot of couples can speak to that. If you're not going to have those conversations about what happened, you know, oh my God, you just, I'm going to give an example that doesn't relate to us, let's say, but let's say you woke me up in the middle of the night, you do it every single time. What happens with that? If that keeps on happening, it keeps on snowballing. What does that affect at the end of the day? If you're going to keep on building with that. It's going to end up blowing up at some point in time. And that's what usually happens with, I think, couples. Uh, you know, things build up because we don't talk about them. We don't want to talk about those things. Maybe it's it's difficult to say, I don't want to hurt my other partner. If I say that, does that mean that I am saying, saying something about our love? That's an important thing too. I think a lot of couples don't distinguish the two of them. You can have an uncomfortable conversation. You can say some things that are pretty uncomfortable, but how do we do that? When do we do that? And we will, I definitely want to get into that sooner than that. But I think it's not <laughs> but it, the safe space thing. I but think it, was, it was, that was the start. And, was, and I think that was really, that was the which one was item. the, yes, I don't remember the other one that we started with, but I think it was, because one thing that was happening for us is it, we would try to have try to not necessarily, it wouldn't necessarily feel like a big thing to maybe me that I bring up or vice versa, but they're like walking by, they're getting out the door and you're like, I can't handle this right now. Like I need to Timing. go, right? Timing, right. Yeah. Being able to receive the information, how we say it, how we receive it. 